Coles reported earnings earlier and actually shares sank again after the company slashed full-year earnings and sales guidance. After a second straight quarter, we turn now to our daily segment highlighting the best of Bloomberg Intelligence to break down retail earnings as well as the health of the U.S. consumer. Let's bring in Poonam Goyal, U.S. retail senior analyst. And Poonam, it really is a tale of two halves here. Who can manage it, who can't? What again seemed to hit Coles because it's been under pressure for a while? I think the trend for this earnings season is the two eyes, inflation and inventory. And no matter who we look across, whether it's Kohl's, whether it's Walmart, whether it's Target, or even TJ Maxx, uh, TJX, inventory is the big key and the big question mark. And that's where all our eyes are. I think getting inventory right is going to be critical moving into the second half. We are over inventoried in retail today. And some say they can get through it. Some have gone through some of it. But really, inventories are just going to keep coming in, especially as retailers need to make sure that they have the goods for the holiday season, which, you know, I've seen it start as early as September sometimes. <laughs> Target was adamant that the inventory woes were behind them, that H2 looks good. Are other retailers as confident? No, they're not. Um, I think, you know, if you look at Target, they, their inventory levels on an absolute basis were flattish, but they did say they cleared $1 billion of discretionary inventory, which is where the problem was. So that was um, encouraging to see. But then you heard from Walmart and you heard from TJX where inventories are still piling and they're going to get rid of some of it, but some of it is needed. So I think it depends on the mix of inventory, really. How much inventory is where the consumer is moving away from versus what you think you can actually use and sell through through the holiday period. And Poonam, we've spent a lot of time talking this earnings season about different types of shoppers, both the luxury end and sort of the lower income tiers. But was interesting in the Kohl's earnings, you heard the company say that it was the middle income shoppers that have become more price conscious. And I'd love to hear your take on when maybe that starts to spread to some of the higher income tiers, if at all. Yeah, so we've heard that inflation has hurt pocketbooks for the low-income consumer when Walmart reduced guidance a few weeks ago. Kohl's says the middle-income consumer is pressured. TJX yesterday said that in lower-income demographic areas, the stores underperformed in terms of traffic. The luxury consumer, though, still remains solid. Now, could those trends turn? Absolutely, if inflation continues to persist. We've seen in prior downturns that the first to fall is the low-income consumer spending, and the last is luxury. Yeah. So it's not a surprise to see the pattern that we're moving in today. And that's why next week, Macy's Nordstrom is going to be so interesting, and why we were just speaking to the conference board saying, actually, the general worker out there is perhaps more concerned not about their job, but about the stock market performance of late, Puna. Yeah, and, you know, the stocks will typically lead, right? So I think we, we have to kind of look at is is inflation going to continue to move higher or are we already at the peak and now we'll start to see it come down? Because when you look at food prices and if you look at gas prices, you are seeing some sigh of relief. So the question is, where do we go from here? And I think that's really going to predict whether what we're seeing right now is just a blip or is it a trend that continues to move us into what you may call a recession.